For those wondering, this one is gummy bears. So make sure you guys grab the gummy bears. And notice I said this is gummy bears, not sour gummy bears like everyone and their mother decided to make in the supplement industry. I wanted to be different. You know what I mean? So we're gonna slam this bullshit. And then what we're gonna do today, guys, is I'm gonna do a kind of a quick light chest workout day today. I'm gonna show you guys just like some, some of my favorite movements when it comes to a chest day or a push day in general. Um, and show you guys like what I've done to lose all my weight in the gym and what chest workouts that I did that helped me a lot throughout my journey. I feel like a lot of times, man, when people are warming up on a bench, they don't stretch out their upper pec and what I'm doing right now actually works extremely well for that. If you guys are ever in a situation where you just feel really tight in your chest area before you bench, just get a bar and just tilt it the way I'm tilting it right now. I can't point, but it's stretching my, my left side of my upper chest really nice, right where it ties into my shoulder, which is the one area that ends up snapping more than any other area when it comes to a flat bench or any type of like bench press movement. So you really wanna to try to make sure that your shoulders are nice and stretched out and it's gonna help a lot with preventing injury and messing your guys' self up. Because let me tell you something, a pec tear is not cheap to fix and it is not an easy thing to fix. So just be aware of that. Make sure you guys go through a couple light motions here just to kind of make sure that you got it. There's nothing clicking or crunching or any type of pain there. I don't do anything crazy with just a bar, but we're just making sure that there's no pain, no crunching, and it feels good and smooth in your joints when you're pressing, right? We're not gonna go super heavy here. Again, this isn't a, you know, we're not power lifting. We're just trying to get a basic muscle contraction. We're gonna stretch, we're gonna contract, we're gonna stretch, we're gonna contract, and we're gonna do all of that while keeping the weight light because you don't need to lift hundreds and hundreds of pounds just to, you know, lose some weight, get yourself in shape, and get stronger. All right, let's go for just a quick 20 reps. One, two, three. And if you guys notice, I'm not slamming the weight down on my chest, right? We're lowering it slowly. We're pressing it up slowly, okay? Don't rest it on your chest. You just want to make the body work harder. Everyone says to me, Nick, we want to see you in the gym more often. All right, we're in the gym, goddammit. Let's do some shit. Man, I'm feeling fucking weak today, dude. That's what happens when you're eating in a fucking calorie deficit forever. All right, guys, next exercise, we're gonna do some dumbbell flies. Now, I don't know why, I think I heard somebody say this years ago and I just got it in my head and this is how I've always done or laid out my chest days. I typically do my chest days with some sort of push movement first, some sort of fly movement second, back to a push movement third, back to a fly movement fourth, okay? I don't know why, I just feel like I feel those different movements hit different parts of my chest when I do it in that type of order. Now, if in the beginning you start with something like flat bench and you're struggling trying to feel that contraction in your chest hit, start with something that's like a fly, like a cable fly, dumbbell fly, something like that, very light. Try to get those fibers to activate. So don't do a press movement first if you're not feeling your chest activate. If you're not feeling the muscle activate, then start with flies like we're gonna do and do this a little backwards. My chest is good, so we're gonna start with some flies and we're gonna bang out some flies. One of these big misconceptions, the more sets, the better. Yeah, if you got all day 
If you got all day, you don't got no kids, no spouse, no job, no nothing, stay in the gym all day, do 100 sets for all I care. It doesn't really matter. Just make the muscle work. This is one of those things where people make things overcomplicated, man. Get in there, get your heart rate elevated, get the workout done. Squeeze, contract, stretch, exhaust the muscle, get the fuck out of the gym. For some of you, that might take an hour. For some of you, that might take 30 to 45 minutes. No matter where you're at and how long it takes, the more you do it, the consistent you, you stay at it, the longer you'll be able to do it. The harder you'll be able to train, the longer you'll be able to train. If you're super sore right now, it's normal, especially when you're first getting started in the gym. Next order of business, incline chest press machine. One thing I want you guys to understand when you're setting this up, you want these handles right at the top of your upper outer pec. See where my thumbs are pointing? Can you guys see that? You wanna to try to get these handles right to that general area, all right? Far back enough where your elbows are back far enough to where you're squeezed. Your upper outer pec in here is stretched. If you're not in this position and you don't feel that stretch before you start, adjust your handles, adjust your seat a little bit different and I promise you it's gonna make a world of difference when you go to use this type of machine. Oh, I can't. All right, so in an event when that happens, you guys, and you burn out, you're out of energy before you wanna be finished with the set, drop the weight, all right, and don't give up. Drop the weight, lower the weight, get right back into it. The set ain't over. You just had to lower the weight. And there's nothing wrong with that. Force yourself to get through that set. Ah. Not too bad for a guy that doesn't work out, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Gotta love it. Hit him with the 12 gauge bucket. Chicken nuggets. No? No? Nothing? Come on, bro. If you leave that part in the video, guaranteed someone in the comment section knows exactly what it references to. Hit him with the 12 gauge bucket. Chicken nuggets. And that's how you know what type of person NM Fitness really is. You guys, Bo doesn't know who ICP is. ICP, I guess he's too young. What year were you born? 2001. 2001. I mean, bro, that's crazy. ICP, insane clown posse. Who's going chicken hunting? We're going chicken hunting. No? This is an old school pec deck. You guys may have a machine like this, you may not, but pec deck's a pec deck, all right? Just use the one that you guys like. This is the one we have at the laboratory, and honestly, I kind of like it. We're gonna do a quick three sets of these beasts. Remember to squeeze ah, and stretch. And if you guys notice, we're following the same pattern, right? Push, then we're doing a fly, then push, then a fly. It's the way I always do it, and it works out good. All right guys, so that pretty much concludes our chest day. As you guys saw, we started with flat bench, three sets, then we came over to dumbbell flies, three sets, came over to incline chest press, three sets, and then we did our pec deck, three sets. Again, if you guys can do more sets, do more sets. Don't let your excuses win. Get in the gym, do the training that you can do, get the most effective workout that you can in the time that you have, and get out of the gym. Just because you can't dedicate an hour and a half to two hours to the gym like other people can doesn't mean you should ultimately just not go. It means that you should at least just go and get what you can done. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to put in the effort. And as long as you guys are putting the effort in here and you're putting the effort in what goes into your mouth, the results will come, whether you're bulking, whether you're cutting. The only other thing required is consistency and patience. And there's a lot of people that don't have patience. I didn't lose my weight 
in six months, one year, or even two years. It took me a long time to understand and to learn my body. It took me three, four, maybe four years, somewhere in that ballpark to drop 200 pounds on purpose. Yes, you can crash diet. Yes, you can just cut your calories to an extreme and lose weight. But there's a big difference in understanding and knowing your body and how it responds and reacts to certain foods or food groups or amounts of food. So don't rush this process. Learn to enjoy this process. Learn to enjoy the foods that you're cooking. Experiment with different ways of cooking, different seasonings, different spices, all of these things, and take your time with it. And when you can do all of those things, the results will come faster and they will become more efficient because you're learning and understanding your body and how it responds to all of the stimulus that you're applying. The gym, the cardio, the nutrition, all of it matters.